for some reason it only makes the uh, part turn on the left side and not on the mirrored side so the first thing I check is is the is this construction line still a mirror line so I right click on it and yes you see it's still highlighted as a mirror line so that's not a problem anyway I want to have those two holes on this side as well so what I do now is exact the same actions we did in the previous tutorial so we are in the move mode and we have the select one is the select tool is highlighted it's bigger so we select the line we zoom in on it put it to the top so we see everything with uh, the scroll wheel and the shift button we make it the option mode option move create pattern select this tool select the midpoint move the move tool on the midpoint and turn and as soon as we got three under 120 degrees 190 120 you see 120 release it and here we are this all those lines and patterns you can see them here as well are drawn in a 2d mode and so far design spark is not recognizing this as being a shape or a, an object it's not an object it's just a, a circle and some it's just a bunch of lines and crap together to create from the lines an object we go out of the, the plan view out of the two dimensional mode and we go to a three dimensional mode so we you see here you know it's a we only have control in a, in the y x it's hard to see but we only have control in the y and x uh, dimension and by clicking on home view we have another one so we are now in a three-dimensional mode we click on the pool mode and now you see that it converts the design spark converts the whole bunch of lines and circles to a surface and a surface is a a two-dimensional object yeah it has many names in the sometimes we say face and or a surface or a plane go back to uh, selection so i can explain it a little better uh, if i click on this this is a a plane or a, or a face but this is a plane as well or the this one and you can select them just by clicking on it with the selection tool or you can select them but you want to select more of them you you click on one and you click the control key the control button on your keyboard hold it and click on the other ones and now you see we have three selected so with holding the control key you can you know select you even select lines now with it you can select almost anything together but you know just clicking in the white and then nothing is selected but that's always good to have a little background how things work to make from a face an object we use the the move tool and uh, we click on this one we lift it up so we click on it hold we click uh, left click from the mouse and we hold it and we drag it out and we give it a value of 22 now we have create objects 
three-dimensional objects and you can see them over here you see we select uh, this one right click on it and we re rename it and we, rena we, we call it left because you know it's the left side and the other one same select it right click rename and we call it right you know if you click on the scroll wheel and you start hovering with your mouse you can travel inside the 3d you see i can hover it over i can you know look from every angle to it if i am far away i get more control than i'm very close by you know if i click here it's, it's harder to control it but yeah you have to play with it and you get you will get the feeling very fast because it's easy let's say you you are very you lost somewhere you don't know exactly where you are in the in the in your model and you always can click on on the object you want to go to and click on home and then it centered it out for you again